Hi, boys and girls. I hope you had a good week. I have so many things to tell you, uh, so many exciting things to tell you. Um, but first, I want to review what we learned last time. So we were working on lesson number four from the uh, Right Now Media, Ephesians, Knowing God's Plan. And um, in that video, Paul was remind, he reminded the Ephesians of something. Do you remember what that was? It's not really easy, but he reminded them of the bad things that they did, that they were dead because of sin, and they were following the world's ways. And we learned that but he wasn't telling them that to be mean or to, to be ugly to them. This was before they knew Jesus and before Jesus had changed them. And he wanted them to remember so that they would know how much God had changed them. We also learned about a word, name, a word grace. Do you remember what grace is? Grace is being given something that you haven't earned. So I wanted to show you today the difference between grace and earning. And um, I have some chore cards here. And uh, this is a chore card and it says, uh, do your homework. Check. Did the homework. Clean your room. Check. Clean the room. Pick up your toys. Check. Help with the dishes. Check. And it says for this, doing this chore card, you get $2. So David earned $2 for doing all the chores on that chore card. So he earned that $2. Now here, woo, this is so much better. I have a gift. I was thinking about you all week, and I stopped and I bought a present for you. So here, there's that present. I'm so excited. It's a really nice present. Woo, I know you're going to love it. But you know, do you have to pay me for that? No, you don't have to pay me for that. And do you have to... Uh, get all dressed up and fix your hair and, and do any chores for that? No. Because this present is grace. Now this you had to earn, but this is a free gift, and you get that. That's grace. It's something that you're given that you haven't earned. And we have that forever life with God, our salvation, because of his grace. He gave us salvation as a gift. We could never earn it. He wants us to remember grace for two reasons. We have to remember grace because God doesn't want us to ever think that we could earn our salvation. Ooh, I could do so many chores and I could earn my salvation. Or I could fix my hair pretty and I could look so nice and I could earn my salvation. God wants us to know that. He wants us to remember grace because we can never earn God's salvation, that forever life with him. And for the second reason, he wants us to remember grace. He wants us to remember grace because he doesn't want us to think we're better than other people. God knows that if we uh, didn't remember grace, we would, might look at other people and say, oh, I'm better than you. I, you know, I'm so good. I am, am friends with God. I'm better than you. And God doesn't want us to have that attitude toward people who don't know him. He wants us to love those people and that's not a very loving thing to do he wants us to remember grace because without god's grace we are enemies of god and 
we are the same as everybody else. And if we remember that, then we'll be so excited about our salvation, we'll be wanting to tell other people this good news. So two reasons we have to remember grace. Let's pray together. I want us to pray together right now so that we can uh, really think about grace. So, thank you, God, for reminding me that without you, I'm dead in sin and separated from you. I'm so thankful for your grace, God. I like getting gifts, and Jesus is the best gift I've ever gotten. Help me to tell others about your amazing grace, the gift of Jesus for their lives. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. We're doing lesson five this week on the Right Now videos, Ephesians, Knowing God's Plan. And I want you to know today is a special day. Some, uh, I mean, it's Palm Sunday. It's the start of Holy Week. So this is the week before Easter. So it started with Palm Sunday and it goes all the way to Easter. And I have some videos that I'm posting on the Right Now Media Kids channel that will go through every day of Holy Week. So you can watch one today, and it's Palm Sunday, and then tomorrow you can watch Monday and Tuesday and Wednesday, and it goes through the whole week. And this is a really important week in the church. Um, and Palm Sunday was when we all were worshiping and praising God and thanking God for uh, and so excited about Jesus. We were excited about Jesus and, and having a parade for Jesus. But then, by the end of the week, in only five days, we were crucifying him. We had changed our mind about Jesus from praising him and, and loving him to nailing him on a cross. And I want us to think this week, we need to be thinking the whole week about Palm Sunday, how excited we are about Jesus, how much we love Jesus, how much we want to worship him. But are we like those people that on Friday we're giving up on Jesus and we're hanging him on a cross and we don't like him anymore? We need to remember that our, our emotions and our feelings can change really quickly. But I want you to, to really study this while you're watching these videos this week so that we can understand how important it is for us to, to really have God living in us and know that his power is in us. I'm, uh, I have a new song and motions that we're gonna post this week. So I want you to learn the song and the new motions and we have a new scripture. Our new scripture, uh, there are two, John 14, six, and that scripture is, Jesus said to him, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. And then another scripture, 1 John 5, verses 11 and 12. And this is the testimony that God has given us eternal life. And this life is in his Son. He who has the Son has life. He who does not have the Son of God does not have life. That was John 14, 6 and 1 John 5, verses 11 and 12. So I want you to remember the challenge. If you memorize these verses, have your mom take a video and she can text it to me and I can drop a prize by your house. I'm hoping you're hiding God's word in your heart so that you won't sin against him. So let's pray. 
Jesus, I thank you for these boys and girls and their families, Lord. I know this is a hard time. There's lots of change. And we learn in our one song, there's a whole lot of change coming our way. But one thing we can depend on is Jesus. We can depend on you. We can depend on your word. And we can depend on all the promises that are in your word. So Jesus, help us this week to, to discover your promises, to depend on the word. Uh, Lord, we also pray that this virus would be gone in your mighty name, Jesus. We know that you're stronger than any virus. We know that, that God wants reconciliation between us and the creation so that viruses wouldn't hurt us. And so, God, we're praying this, believing that you're going to stop this virus. And we thank you in Jesus' name. Amen. Have a great week. I love y'all, and I'm praying for you. Bye.